G'day reefers, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Anya and today we're here at Gallery Aquatica Wynnum where we have something absolutely amazing in store to share with you. Now these special invertebrates are arguably amongst the most fascinating, the most interesting and amazing creatures that we could possibly have obtained in the whole history of Gallery Aquatica being open. Now, I think it's time to see what I'm talking about. So let's go inside and check them out. So here they are, our very first obtained pair of harlequin shrimp. Now these are undoubtedly one of the most unique looking crustaceans you'll ever see in your life. They have modified legs and appendages to suit their very unique niche in the reef and their color is just absolutely beautiful. Their body is white with these blue and red markings. Another common name for them is painted shrimp and it's very easy to see why. Now these shrimp typically inhabit reef slopes between a meter to 30 meters deep and the reason why they're so incredibly rare in Australia is because our biosecurity laws prevent us from being able to import invertebrates and they're incredibly cryptic by nature. So they spend a lot of their time on the reef in caves and finding their prey and dragging them back and into their lair and feasting. So what you probably have heard about these shrimp before is their very unique diet. Harlequin shrimp are obligate predators of Echinodermata, which basically means they only eat starfish. Now, this in itself, this diet, this very specialized diet in itself really regulates part of why they are so difficult to keep in captivity. Now, when you look up really, really close, what you see is that their first pair of legs is actually modified with these really fine needle-like pincers. And together, the pair actually actively hunt down their starfish prey and they use those needle-like legs to flip the starfish upside down and disarm it enough to start to drag it back into their cave. Now, something that I found really fascinating is that they don't often consume the entire body of the starfish and this actually allows the starfish to stay alive while they feast on its legs. So starfish have tube feet and uh, they are used both in adhesion and gas exchange. And as you may know, if you cut one leg off with a central uh, part of the oral disc of the starfish, you actually are able to regrow a starfish. So some hobbyists opt to frag their starfish to consistently grow and feed the, s the shrimp uh, a starfish. Otherwise, their main use in places like the US, where they're far more common than Australia, they're used to control pest starfish populations, such as Asterina. Now, Asterina, there are many species and some hurt your coral and some don't. It's very hard to identify the different species of Asterina, but they, uh, uh, they multiply it to plague in plague proportions and if you have an, an Asterina outbreak, you may very well be a fantastic candidate for keeping harlequin shrimp in your reef aquarium. Another point to be had about compatibility of reef inhabitants is obviously you aren't able to house these with 
any fish that are going to eat shrimp. So unfortunately, you've got to be careful of wrasse, hawkfish, pufferfish, lionfish, any kind of predator, of course. But it's very easy to see the appeal when you look close and marvel at just how unique and beautiful these shrimp actually are. A very interesting talking point is the price in Australia. So this pair has sold for $2,000 thankfully to a young gentleman who is keen as mustard to breed them in captivity. He's been in contact with a number of American breeders of Harlequin shrimp and he feels incredibly confident that he's going to be able to achieve this without too much hassle. Now I personally haven't researched a lot about how their reproductive behaviours, however I do know that it's very easy to sex the male from the female. The female is typically smaller one in the pair and has coloured spots on the abdomen or underneath the tail where the male is just pure white. So I really hope you've enjoyed taking a quick look at these incredible shrimp with us while they're still in our care. We really can't wait to follow the client's success with breeding and his main goal is to reduce the price so that they are obtainable for a lot more Australian reefers into the future. Why don't you leave a comment below and let us know how much these shrimp cost where you reef. Thank you so much. I'm Anya. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.